Hey everybody, Trinda here with another Walmart haul. If you are new here, I just moved to Texas a couple weeks ago, so I'm still stocking my pantry. That's why this is so large. I went to Costco once, but I clearly did not get enough staples. I'm finding out of things that I usually have. If you are not new here, welcome back. I just wanna take a minute to thank everybody for all the wonderful comments you've left on my last couple videos of saying either welcome to Texas if you're from here or congratulations, whatever. It was just, just super, super sweet. All the comments were so positive and nice. So I just wanna take a second to say thank you so much. All right, so I went into Walmart tonight to kind of check things out because I hadn't been inside. I've only done the pickup. I'm very, very happy. It is super nice Walmart. The produce looked great. The selection was great. The workers were nice. So I was gone for like an hour and a half. I browsed every aisle, checked everything out. So of course, I probably spent <laughs> twice as much as I would have normally, but we will go through it all. We are kind of low on food, and I've been finding it's been hard, especially for me, like uh, getting quick lunches and stuff like that. So I need to come up with stuff like that for myself. The kids are pretty much covered. But all right, let me, without further ado, just go ahead and get into it. I just went ahead and picked up some milk. I am blown away at the milk prices here in Texas and California. I was paying 3 to $4 for a gallon of regular milk. Here it's like a dollar sixty. It's just crazy to me how expensive it was, or how cheap it is here, and how expensive it was there. Let me know how much milk costs around here. I'm curious to other parts of the country if this is like super cheap or if this is more normal. I don't know. So anyway, so I got a gallon of milk, a couple gallons of just drinking water, and then I like the fat-free milk for myself for like coffee and things. I really don't like whole milk, and this is only a buck. Like create, I just just crazy to me so pick that up I did grab a pineapple juice just a little tip what I do is when um, I'm slicing up apples for the kids lunch I like to do it in the beginning of the week and I put them all into a bowl with a little bit of pineapple juice and some water and that way the acid keeps the apples from turning brown it will last me a whole week I just do a little bit of juice to the water so that way it doesn't really taste like pineapple juice. You can't tell the difference. They just don't go brown. And so we don't really use this for anything else. So what I will actually do is freeze the rest in an ice cube tray. And when later on I need to do it for the kids' lunches, I'll pull out a couple ice cubes, let it thaw, mix it with the water, do the apples, and I'm good to go. So this will last me a really long time in the apple making department. All right, just an English cucumber for snacking, an orange for a recipe. I'm gonna be doing a couple tomatoes for salads, a red pepper, cause that is my little one's favorite snack. And just one little zucchini, just in case I wanna make zoodles for lunch or else I love it, you know, sauteed or roasted anyway. Some seasoned curly fries because fries are amazing in the air fryer. So we have, this is sad, but we have never eaten so many fries, but they're just so good. I can't help it. Oh, and this little, fine, I've never seen this diced jalapeno peppers. We love putting jalapeno peppers on like our hot dogs or different things like that to add a little spice. And I love that these are already chopped for you. So I grabbed that. Just some of these mini pancakes to throw in the freezer for breakfast. And then I thought these looked really good. These mini cereals. It's chocolate peanut butter. Just little mini ice cream cones. So not too much. All right. I put this to remind me. Have you seen that on Pinterest where you wash these and before they are dried off, you roll them in a jello. So just the powder. And then you put them in the fridge to set. And then you eat them like that. I thought that would be so much fun to try. So I got the green apple gelatin and some green grapes. We're going to try that out tomorrow. All right, just some yeast and some bread flour so I can get my uh, bread maker up and going to make some bread because I did not have any anymore. Uh, Devil's Food chocolate cake mix. My oldest has been wanting to make these. I don't know. They're like brownies with caramel inside. So 
I've never made him before. He just like, I don't know if you saw him somewhere or what. But I found a recipe on Pinterest that looked really good. And actually what's funny is I realized now I forgot the caramels. But I did get this devil's food cake mix was part of it. Along with a can of evaporated milk. So I'm part, part way there. He'll get there. All right, just a corn muffin mix to keep in the pantry. And just some heartburn medicine. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. I heard... Or my husband heard that I guess one of the ingredients in Zantac or something is now linked to cancer. So that's actually what he took. So I went ahead and got this instead to give it a try. A couple cans of cream of chicken soup. I plan on making a chicken noodle soup soon. And I actually use a can inside of that. It's really good. It just adds a little bit of creaminess. It's delicious. And whenever I make that, I chop enough ingredients for two. And then, so I will throw one in the freezer with all the ingredients. And what I do is I do all the ingredients except for the chicken stock. Sometimes I'll put this in the freezer, it freezes well, or sometimes I'll just leave it in my pantry. And then, of course, I don't make the egg noodles ahead of time. And then all I have to do is add the chicken stock, maybe a can of this if it's not already in there, and then make the egg noodles or throw the egg noodles in. And it's perfect crock pot chicken noodle soup. Right, this is something I have not tried, but my kids aren't into sauces all that much, but they love wings. So this is like a wing seasoning mix. So you put it on and cook it with the wings. It's not like a sauce. So I'm going to try that out and see if they like. They like teriyaki sauce, so I thought that might be fun to try. This pumpkin cake roll was on mark down to 215. So I had to, of course, give that a try. We'll probably have a little piece and then uh, freeze the rest. Just some thick sliced bacon. Okay. Truth be told, I think I must have been hungry and on Pinterest because <laughs> I saw a recipe where you chop uh, sweet potatoes really small and you wrap them in bacon and sprinkle them with brown sugar and bake them that way. I thought that sounded really good. So that is what that is for. And then this I, I thought would be good for salads. I love salads and this maple glaze, pecan pieces, dates, and apples sounds really lovely. I love throwing like cranberries. I actually like uh, just cut up apples. So I've never tried dried apples, but that sounds really good. My oldest loves saltine crackers, so I picked up a box of that. And he also, for the first time, tried cream wafer cookies, and he has been dying for some more. So that'll be a special treat. I'll put a couple in his lunch. And to hang up, they have some posters they want to hang up. So we're going to try these damage-free uh, poster strips. And then this is random, but my oldest really needed a red pen for school. And I could only find one in this kit. This was the cheapest. So we'll use the others. It's fine. But really, I just wanted the red. And one thing that apparently did not make it in the move is toothpicks, which doesn't sound like a big deal until you are baking something that you need to check with the toothpick. I was making brownies the other day and thank goodness they ended up okay, but I really needed a toothpick. I got some of those, just some salsa to keep on hand. Oh, and I think I missed, this is our favorite, favorite granola. That is the, sorry, Cascadian Farms Oats and Honey Granola. Delicious. The whole family loves it just with milk or sprinkled on some yogurt. All right. My husband needs some stuff to keep uh, in his work truck. So I got this Mountain Trail mix. It looked good. Um, I know you can get this cheaper in the bulk, but my problem is it, it will probably sit in his truck for a little bit and he's not going to have them maybe on a regular basis. So I just don't want him to go bad. So I feel better paying a little bit more and having them individually wrapped. All right. I bought this because we do a lot of like you know salami and cheese or something like that so i'm going to give this a try i have this brand and they make one that's like um you can put like crackers in a place for dip we do pretzels and hummus a lot in it it's really good really great container so i'm going to give this a try and see how i like it the other household items the kids just needed some uh more toothpaste need some more dusters and I used up all my candles before I went and I've been dying for another candle so I got this warm apple pie and I had a sweet tooth when I went and back home it was really hard for me to find these sorry about the light there um you know obviously I know the Walmart by me now is going to carry them all the time so I gotta control myself but 
These are so good. They remind me of my childhood, and I just love those. I'm going to try not to eat them all. Myself, anyways. Okay, so a couple things for myself. I just bought this uh, diced, already cooked chicken breast, oven roasted to add to salads. Because I'm a big salad eater, but sometimes I just need a little protein. And before I can get back to Costco, because they have, um, you know, it's a much better deal to get the pre-cooked chicken. But I just bought that for now. And then, you know, I know I'm paying for convenience here too. But some just chopped up ham to add to eggs in the morning. I thought would be easy. Parmesan cheese. Just the shredded kind. And then I just bought my kids as a surprise. These great value lunch packs these are a little bit better than the cheaper ones just you know no nitrates and uncured ham and stuff like that so i can feel a little bit better about giving them that i just got ham and cheese for my oldest and my middle loves the pepperoni pizza and then i'm going to get back to making my own lunchables and for that i make my own pizza lunchables and i use these little street taco shells for that so this is what i'm i just freeze them um and he loves those. So they're just little mini street taco flour rounds, but they make great pizza shells for homemade Lunchables. All right, and then here we go, Sweet Tooth also, and the kids would love this uh, Saturday night when I'm filming this, so Sunday morning when they get up, they can have those. And then these were marked down. My husband's on call right now, so sometimes he gets called out really quickly. So I thought this would be great. He could take with him real quick and if not we can have it for lunch one day so i bought the philly cheesesteak in this new york deli style i just needed a red onion another sweet potato i have one but i need another one for that bacon wrapped sweet potato thing uh bananas some peaches a couple avocados that are not quite ripe that no particular reason just snacking some mayo we do not use mayo really for anything except for sometimes in like chicken salad a lot of times i will do fat-free greek yogurt instead but sometimes recipes just call for a little mayo so this will last forever so i just got that because that'll i mean honestly it's good for let's see almost a year and we probably won't go through it that's how little nobody really likes it too much in our house all right got these honey roasted cashews for my husband's truck and then one more emergency little lunch or dinner for myself. This is my favorite frozen thing ever. It's the chicken margarita with balsamic. It is so good. So that I'll just throw in the freezer for emergency for me if I need food. And I got these for the kids. They love cotton candy flavored anything. I've never seen these. So I thought they'd love those because it is still warm here where I am. But it's supposed to cool down. All right. Some egg noodles for the chicken noodle soup. And then... I just got this tri-colored cauliflower blend. I thought that'd be fun for the kids to try. Just some corn on the cob to throw in the freezer for a side. The corn, fresh corn, did not look good. I don't know if it's out of season or if it's this area, but it did not look good. So we're just going to have that in the freezer. Some sweet potato fries for that air fryer. Then this one I have bought. Uh, this is probably my favorite vegetable blend. It is the broccoli, Italian green beans, carrots, baby corn cobs, water chestnuts, red peppers. And this one comes in a close second. Sugar snap peas, broccoli green beans, sorry, yellow squash, red peppers, carrots, yellow peppers, and water chestnuts. It is hard to find stir fry mixes without mushrooms, and I do not like mushrooms. So these are amazing for myself. Some seasoned french fries, keep in the freezer. My kids are obsessed with these. Taste just like the Dorito shells that you get from Taco Bell if you've had them. They had them once, and now they're obsessed. So these, they like just as much. Really good. Just some tortilla chips to have. Some more cereal for the weekends. And I thought this was so cool. I've never seen this before. Texas toast, thick slice. I plan on making French toast soon. And then I know I can get this so much cheaper at like Sam's or Costco, but I went ahead and bought this. These are the little bottles, 12 ounce. Um, it comes with six blue cherries, six green apple, and six grape. Actually, one of my kids stayed home this week, I think because he was dehydrated. And I think what's happening is they are not drinking enough water at school. So even though they have a water bottle in the classroom, I'm going to start sending a Gatorade at lunch because not only will they down this because they'll be excited, but they'll get the electrolytes and stuff, and we'll see if 
um, that helps the problem. So I don't mind spending a little bit and they're drinking water the whole day. And then if they have one of these at lunch, uh, I think that's okay. All right, a composition notebook because my oldest, his teacher asked for that. And then this, whoa, well, there goes one can. Oopsies. All right, this, I wanted to try this Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. I bought the cheap, you know, Walmart brand, and it just did not cling to the toilet bowl. It basically just ran down. Um, so I wanted to try a little bit better brand, so we're trying the Lysol, and this sounded good to have a fresh scent mango and hibiscus. All right, uh, this is what fell, one of these. But I got some insect repellent. I got actually three cans. Um, yeah, we're in Texas, so we're discovering that one can for the whole family or one you know spray is not going to cut it my husband needs one for his trunk um i'm going to keep an extra backup bottle here and then i might keep one in my car or something so when we sometimes with my four-year-old we just stop at the park randomly or something like that we're going to have it because you need it here all right almost done guys i got some of these um snack sticks kind of like beef jerky things um for my husband keeping his truck and then he actually really likes this hot dog chili sauce. It's super cheap. It's like 50 cents a can, but he really likes them when we have hot dogs. So I like to keep a can in the pantry. And then one spice that did not make it is the cayenne pepper. So, you know, if you use cayenne, a little goes a long way. So I'm fine with getting the little jar. And then some pizza sauce that actually in the ingredients really, you know, it didn't look like it was too bad. I usually make my own, but I was just kind of being, you know, I'm still getting settled and um, I still have the time for everything. We're still unpacking everything. So this will be for the lunch, homemade Lunchables. I just get this, that, some, I already have some mozzarella cheese and I already have some pepperoni and he'll be good to go for school lunches. And last but not least, I think I got, oh no, I missed a couple of things. Um, it's just snack on the run, um, chicken and barbecue sauce that looked good with crackers, that for my husband's truck or if he does not find it um, appealing I'll try it out Look good to me all right last things I see I skipped which doesn't surprise me uh, this slice pears in water uh, my middle son loves oh I just saw it sweet with Splenda <gasps> oh I thought it was just water oh darn it okay well that stinks but anyways he loves canned pears and when I had went to Aldi they only had the kind in syrup and so it's funny I saw the ones in fruit juice but then I saw this in water and I I thought oh that's probably even better but I did not see sweet with Splenda I mean he'll live but good thing I only got one can but mental note for next time get the fruit juice one anyways come sweet relish because we found out tonight we had hot dogs and we did not have any and last but not least, I think, are these hot, spicy maple bourbon pickles. I've been craving some spicy pickles. Uh, we have barbecued smoked pork a lot, like sandwiches and stuff, and I love spicy pickles on them. So I'm going to try these out. Because usually, sometimes we'll get the huge one from Costco, but that one, it takes up so much room in the fridge, and it takes forever to go through. So, all right, if you made it to end, thank you so much for hanging around. Give me a hello. Let me know how, milk, how much milk costs in your area. I'm super curious, and I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Have a great day.